uh, which uh, I'm honored to introduce our work, which focuses on the on Lycos model retrieval. Our team is from from Shandong University, and the title of this paper is Polish Adaptive on Lycos Model Hashing for Class Incremental Data. In recent years, hashing based on Lycos model retrieval has growing attention. On Lycos model hashing is introduced to help learn. Uh, new information from continuing training samples, especially when we are tight on re resources. From, uh, after we finish a round of learning, we usually remove the data of this round from memory, and this strategy really helps us handle new data trunk. But there are still some uh, challenges we need to think about. First, uh, most ex ex existing methods learn the harsh code by considering the relevant among newly around data or between new data and the existing data, and they often overlook global semantic information. And second, the existing online method assume that the label space remain unchanged. But uh, we know that in practice, the, this assumption might be unrealistic. Mm, when new labels come in new data, data trunk, the existing method may struggle to uh, update their hashing function or hashing codes. To address this challenge, um, we introduced a novel uh, cross-model online hashing method named Polish. This figure is our, pre uh, our framework. As we can see, um, Polish uses uh, class correlation and the semantic information obtained by language model to generate the um, representation of class, cl class labels. And then the Polish uh, use the label representation as, as global information. And finally, we use them to guard the learning of harsh code for new data trunk. And to the best of our knowledge, this is the first attempt to design a method that can uh, handle incremental uh, label space in the domain of online cross-model hashing. Um, to begin our work, we use a language model, for example, word to actor, bird, clip, and or bloom to transform the class's name into embeddings, which denoted as E. And then we preserve label correlation relationships. We know that uh, maintaining uh, co correlation relationships among classes is very important for ritual task because it helps cluster the similar data together. And when the samples of the same classes maintain similarity in feature, in feature space, the method can more easily uh, generalize to newly common data. So to this end, we design this loss function. Mm. Inspired by the most uh, used term in the Hashi domain for encoding the pairwise similarity, that is the RS minus BB term, we designed the following uh, loss function to learn the presentation of class label. We our, our loss is uh, R uh, is uh, A minus HR. R is the representation of the new labels in the teeth run, and the H is the hard mark representation for all labels. Um, please note that we use the hard, ma hard mark matrix to uh, replace one class representation R, and in this way, we can transform the class representations such as the uh, um, bait balance uh, to the to the class representation because every one and come in the hard mark matrix has the same numbers of the ones and the minus ones. When we are learning how to presentation labels, it's important to look at not just the correlation relationship between class, but also their semantic information. The semantic information helps the model uh, define the boundaries between classes and improves the uh, mm, retrieval performance. Uh, thanks to the capability of language model, semantic information can be incorporated into the class embeddings. 
So we just design the loss function is as follows. E minus Rw, and the W is the map, mapping matrix, and E is the embedding of classes uh, obtained by language model. Mm, it's worth mentioning that we learn the class representation R and use it as the global information to guard the uh, hash code learning. Because the H and E are non-learnable and we prefer to use them as a auxiliary tools. And now we have generated the representation of classes and then, and then we want to use them to learn the hash code of samples. Um, as a result, we further define the falling loss function that is R minus RB. L is the label metric of samples and B is the hash code for samples. In this loss, we want to maintain similarity between the hash code and the uh, class representation and uh, pass information from the old data trunk to the new data trunk. And please note that our method serves as a plugin to enhance the performance of the origin data, uh, original method. And well, uh, and where the loss B uh, represents the loss function of the original method to learn the hash code B. Here is the uh, experiment part. We conduct experiments on two datasets, MIR Flickr and the NASY. And we use the MAP as the evaluation matrix. To evaluate the polish, we present the MAP result for the final run and MAP curve in uh, curves on MIR Flickr. From this result, we can conclude that the polish performs ex extremely well. Um, actually, we select three works as baselines. First is the lemon. Lemon is the uh, classical method that optimize the hash code use a relaxed based uh, strategy. And the DOCH is a typical method that uh, use a discrete strategy to optimize the hash code. And the LSEOH generates the class representation in each training run. Um, it's the uh, most similar method to ours because it also learns the class representation, but in the Polish, the class representation are learned once and remain unchanged to provide the global information. And we can see that in the, um, under the class incremental sensing, the Polish significantly boosts the performance over all baselines. Mm, it also shows the similar uh, improvements on the NASY dataset. Um, we think that the Polish benefits not only from using language model to learn the class relevant and the semantic information, but also from using the um, class representation as global information to guard the learning of hash code. Uh, we also conduct experiments to uh, analyze the similar uh, sensitive to parameters. Uh, the figure shows the result. The alpha mirrors the importance the importance of class relevant and the similar uh, semantic information. We can see that our method is robust to alpha, and the parameter. Beta controls the balance between Polish and the original method. Mm, we can see that the, the value of beta uh, affects the result because it depends on the original, original method. Mm, also, we can see the beta is sensitive, but when it's uh, set to 10, all baseline performs well. And this ob ob observation shows our our plugin is important in uh, hash code learning under the class incremental sensing. And in conclusion, 
through the experimental uh, experiment, we said we said the alpha and the beta are both ten. And uh, for more experimental uh, and for more results, uh, please refer to our paper. Mm, in conclusion, we introduced a novel uh, supervised online cross model Hashi method named the, the Polish. And uh, the Polish use the language model to transform the class embedding to uh, uh, and and the class semantic, uh, semantic information into class representation. Besides, the uh, Polish use the class representation as global information to guard the harsh harsh code learning. And uh, uh, thanks for listening, and I hope you found the valuable information.